Are you yanking my pizzle? Well, excuse me if- Hello everyone and welcome back. Thus far, the investigation has taken Henry from Norhof stables, down to the charcoal burners near Talberg, then onto Ujits, where the limpy one was hanging around. Despite receiving the silent treatment, Henry was still able to find the information that he needed. Now he finds himself on Ledechko, where one Riki is supposed to reside. Thanks to his good deeds in the recent past, Henry has a few contacts in the village. There's Rachomira, the lady who had a guilty conscience from a past affair. There's also the archer who runs the chumps contest and the smith who you helped with his metallurgy. Speaking to anybody in the village reveals that Riki is in a similar position as Limpy. They were both outcasts in their own villages. Why do they call him Riki anyway? Why do you think? Because he's a tanner of course. In Riki's case he may have started with a stink from being a tanner. The old tanner's not an easy man. That may have set him down a path to a life of petty crime. Hinek does nothing to help. He's always far too busy with his own affairs, though I wouldn't like to say what those are. And does no one at all talk to him? That harlot, Adela, hangs around with him, of course. Harlot? She works as a bathhouse wench, same thing. Whatever the original cause may have been, the end result is that he's the outcast of the village. Questioning the villagers gives Henry several clues. One is that his real name is Hinek and his father is Satana. The second one is that he's been known to see Adela from the bathhouse. Given his criminal record, you can also speak to the bailiff, who'll give you a bit more background into his criminal past. I heard he got a taste of the pillory and retired for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies, and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits? Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. When you speak to his father, he professes to know nothing. If you pass a speech check, he'll give you a bit more information, but you can also obtain that uh, by the means. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? I heard he's seeing some bathhouse wench. Maybe. He can't get it for free, so I suppose he has to go to the baths. Adela doesn't know much either. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? But she does mention that Ricky spoke about money. Oh, oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosch who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it, but he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye, and then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. She doesn't believe me, of course. What could I say? He was drunk. Obviously, he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? But knowing about Neuhof, it's likely that if there is any money, it's related to that. He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. You can dig it up if you have a shovel handy. Besides a bit of money, there's a piece of armor, and it's likely that it was worn at Neuhof. You can use this armor to put a bit of pressure on his father. What can you tell me about the coin I found hidden behind your house? Coin? What coin? What on earth are you on about? A pretty pile of groschen nicely stashed away for a rainy day. If I'd known tanning was so lucrative, I'd have switched trades. I don't know nothing about it. And I suppose you know nothing about the bloodied gambeson your son hid there too? Of course it would be a shame to throw away such a valuable thing. Behind my house, you say? So you really don't know anything about it? Looks like you pulled the wool over your eyes. Still, I'm not surprised he never told you about it, considering how he came by that money. How did he come by it? He was paid to raid the Neuhof stud farm. He and his cronies slaughtered horses, stable boys, and even the owner, Smil. Jesus Christ, I heard about that. You're saying Henik was with them? Almost certainly. He could have at least told me about the money, the little shit. But it doesn't really look like he was too concerned about Ricky's criminality. He was here a few days ago. We'll tell you a little bit more about what he knows. Apparently Ricky has a hideout in the woods and he's been known to make money from poaching. He and makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Do you know who he sold it to? No. 
but the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. You can ask Adela about the poaching, and she'll give you an additional clue about woodcutters. I think he usually went through the woodcutters' camp, because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood, and he had wood chips on his boots. You can also question the innkeeper about the poaching. And ask someone else. I have nothing to do with Riki. It only drives my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him, and it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. But give me your word of honour you won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. I happen to know it's a dark place, a cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so we had to have a light for that. There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. He'll be able to tell you that Ricky's hideout is underground and give you three potential locations. If you combine that with Adela's hint about the woodcutters, it makes it quite clear where Ricky is hiding. But if you also look at the map, it seems that every other location that the innkeeper told you about also has woodcutters nearby. So strictly speaking, Adela's clue shouldn't have led you directly to the woodcutters to the north. But if you happen to go to the inn for any reason, then you would have seen a couple of ruffians sitting there drinking. If you also eavesdrop on them, then every so often you hear them speaking about somebody that they're hunting for in the village, and what they're going to do to him. I just don't get it. What don't you get? Why do we have to sniff around for some stinking tanner? Can't we just leave him be? Don't be such a knucklehead. Of course we can't leave him be. Runt would slit your throat if he heard you. But he's just some cowardly peasant. What can he do to us? You really can't get it into your thick skull, can you? It's about our fucking reputation. How can it help our reputation? Folk already shit themselves when they see us. God-fearing folk, maybe. But in this trade, even your own people have to be afraid of you. Otherwise, they might get the idea they can do without you. Get it? All right. But that fellow ain't one of us, though. You moron. That's just why we have to get him, right? So no one else tries it on. It's all the same to me. I'll skewer him anyway. Just I can't be bothered looking for him. Well, while we're at it, did you ask about him at the village? Aye, nobody knows where he is. Seems he's always wandering off somewhere. We'll wait and see what the chief says then. It's quite difficult not to come to the conclusion that it's Ricky they're speaking about. There's good news and bad news from this. The good is that they've obviously not caught him, yet. And the bad is that they're actively hunting for him just like they were with Limpy Lubosh and with Ginger. There's a hidden option to deal with them just like he did with the bandits looking for Ginger. So if you wait until about 6pm, you can follow them to the camp. There's a total of 3 bandits, and the easiest way to deal with them is to wait for them to fall asleep. Once they do, you can simply stealth them. If they happen to wake up, they'll be naked and weaponless. If you do this, it will change the outcome of the quest. Normally when you find Ricky, you're interrupted by 3 brigands, and you have to engage in a 3 vs 2 fight. But if you've taken them already, then they don't show up at all, and you have as much time as you want to speak to Ricky. If you don't take care of them and you take too long to find Ricky, then you'll find him dying. He'll still tell you about Timmy in his dying breath, but that's very much a game contrivance. Because in a more realistic scenario, he would have been a silent corpse just like Limpy was. But having removed the immediate threat, you can go speak to the woodcutters. He knows him. They'll tell you that Raspberry, one of their group, is on friendly terms with Ricky. His face is red as a raspberry. And when you speak to him, he'll tell you about a cave that Ricky knows about. A few days ago. He came by in the evening, well into his cups. Rasper's instructions are fairly straightforward, so you can easily find the cave. Inside there, you should see Ricky. He's heard about what happened to Limpy Lubosh, and he thinks that you're one of the brigands come to finish him off. Jesus Christ, what am I to do? He'll tell you about Timmy, and where you can look for him. I don't know nothing about pies. 
He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he works. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But Pius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. That leaves you with a final decision on what to do with Ricky. You can simply kill him, but there's nothing to be gained from that option, because he's obviously hiding from the bandits, and he's not going to tell them about your investigation. You can take him to Ratai, it would be very likely that he would face very harsh justice for the Neuhof massacre. While it's true that they were present, they had no interest in the killing, and all the evidence, especially what you overheard from the bandits themselves, confirms all of this. The third option is to simply let him go. He promises to reform and leave his life of criminality behind. He could very well be lying, but he doesn't deserve a summary execution or the torture that he'd receive if he took him to Ratai, and there's no additional information to be gained anyway. So the final decision on what you do with Ricky is an entirely role-playing one. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll remember this till the day I die. Best just try living honestly. I'll do my best. I promise. Whatever you choose to do with Ricky, the next step is to go to the mill south of Tamburg. I don't know anyone like that. All the others know him. If you ask around, Merka will eventually tell you to meet her behind the mill. Alright, but not here. We'll talk around the back, behind the mill. But it seems that once again, you're not the only person looking for Timmy. He's hiding at the Colburn farm, over by Merhoyed. <sighs> I get the feeling you're looking for someone here. There were two bandits for Ginger, three for Ricky, and now there's four for Timmy. There's a number of things you can do. The obvious one is to fight all four of them. Because I don't much like the look of you. You or your cronies. And I don't like you breathing on me. I don't like the way you stink. So fuck off. Well, well. Bold words for a whippersnapper like you. Come on then. Let's see what you're made of. Unless you're already very heavily armoured, it's unlikely that you'll win. <laughs> Another one is to sacrifice Timmy in order to gain their trust and infiltrate the camp. He's at the Colburn's farm. Right back where he started. Are you yanking my pizzle? Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye. If you go with them when they confront Timmy, you can hear some unique dialogue. And I heard Timmy was a good host. Don't be shy, come out. Nice to see you, Timmy. How goes it? What? Haven't seen you around for a while, eh? No. Well, uh, I... I hope you haven't forgotten us, Timmy. We've been thinking about you. Uh, me too. Uh, I was thinking about you. Uh, I was, you know thinking that I go and see you fellows and uh that's all right Timmy you don't have to go anywhere you no! fucked up there well landed you'd help but eventually they'll tell you the location of the camp tell me though what were you looking for I wanted him to tell me where to find the man who hired him for the Neuhof job. Neuhof job? What do you mean by that? I mean, I'm looking for the people who torch the farm. I see. And why is that? I heard they pay well. Hmm. It's true you've shown what you can do. Timmy could testify to that. If he wasn't chopped to pieces. <laughs> Maybe I do have a job for you. What kind of job? The kind of job you don't ask too much about. And the less you ask, the more you get paid. Why not? Asking questions never got me anywhere anyway. Glad to hear it. Go and do what you have to do, and then come and see us at the camp. And be prepared to stay there a few weeks. All right. But how do I find that lair of yours? It's an abandoned village. 
I believe it used to be called Pribislavitz. If you go upstream along the creek that flows into Rovna from the north, from the woods, then you'll eventually get there. Thanks. I hope I can find the way. Oh, and if anyone gives you trouble, say I sent you. Well, then at least tell me what they call you. Moorcock. Henry. We'll see you at the camp, then. Who are you? Moorcock told me to come here. Moorcock, you say? He's not here right now, but he should be back soon. Come with me and wait by the fire for Mentioning Moorcock allows you to scout the camp fairly easily. Do you have anything to say? Hey, Henry! You found us then! Wait here, I'll go get the chief. But if you stay and try to infiltrate them further, then it doesn't end very well for Henry. Hey! Will you tell the chief there's a new fellow here? A new fellow? Alright, I'll tell him. What, sir? Now we're picking up every stray dog that wanders by. So now what? Hang on, the chief will be here any minute. Very good wine. Well then, is the chief coming? Aye, he's on his way. Move! You're the new one. Who are you? Henry, Moorcock and his men invited me to- Moorcock and his men, eh? That's funny. Because Moorcock ain't got no men. They're all runt men here. Oh, uh, I, I, I didn't know that. Well, you wouldn't fucking know, would you? Since you don't belong here. Well, well, Moorcock said you pay me. Moorcock's a loudmouth and an idiot. If he told you anything, either he lied or he didn't know what he was blabbering on about. Nothing personal, but it seems it's not your lucky day. Kill him. All right, I'll tell you where he is. Really? The third option is to lie to them. There's two lies you can choose from. One is that Timmy's a ratai. They leave one person behind to guard you, but the rest of them will make their way to the city. I hear he's hiding in Ratai. Oh yeah? Where in Ratai? He's at the butchers. They're his kin. Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. It used to be the case that if you went down there with them, they'll eventually discover your deceit and then attack you. But that would mean that all the guards in Ratai would turn on them. So it was an easy way to take care of them. I've no idea where he is. I reckon I'll have to try my luck elsewhere. That wench didn't tell you anything. The more difficult lies to tell them you know nothing. Nothing about Timmy, anyway. So what were the two of you talking about? I'd say that was none of your business, wouldn't you? Farewell, then. Neighbour. Come on, boys! But if you do, there's a hidden option to follow them. And they'll take you straight to the camp of previous rabbits. If you chose any option other than fighting, then they'll travel to wherever they're going. This usually means that they get strung out, so another hidden option is to take them down one by one from behind. If they head back to the previous orbits, then you only have to leave one of them alive. 
once they're taken care of, then you can speak to Timmy at your leisure. The camp's a lot bigger than I would have expected. This is no ordinary gang of bandits, sir. However you happen to do it, once you discover the location of the camp, then you can speak to Sir Ratty, who will ask you to scout it out. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? If you found this useful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to be notified when new videos are published.